Hey guys, how are we doing today? In today's video, we're doing a block street value tier list. We're going to be ranking fruits from god value to worth absolutely nothing. We're going to be starting off with the control fruit. I believe the control fruit is probably very good. It has decent value for trade. It's not like something you're going to go for, but if you have a control fruit, it's a very good eye. So we have dragon. You already know where I'm about to put dragon right up. No, I'm kidding, but with the rework, it's definitely high value. Definitely one of the top three fruits out there for values. Let's try to get rid of some of these fruits. We have spike fruit, nothing, spin, nothing, sand, um, uh, no, nothing, definitely. Rocket, nothing, smoke, nothing, spring, nothing. I miss anything. Oh, yeah, falcon, no. Yeah, if you have any of these fruits, don't even attempt to trade them. No one's going to take them from you. Sorry. Next up, we have the spirit fruit, and honestly, I'm pretty disappointed about the spirit fruit. I thought it had more value, but I've been trading for the past couple of days, and I cannot get the spirit fruit out of my system. Um, I wouldn't say very, I mean, definitely not god value. Very good. I've seen people take control over spirit plenty of times. Is it a decent value? Uh, I think I'm just going to put in the back of very good, but yeah, spirit is definitely not one of the best. Next up we got the sound fruit. Sound fruit has decent value. Uh, it's probably like the best decent value one you can get in top tier. This is one of the newer ones. Well, let me put some lower value ones. I mean the bomb fruit is decent. Like I wouldn't put it down this tier because all of these like I would not trade for at all. But a bomb fruit, you know, you can troll with it. What else? Chop fruits good against store mains, so it has decent amount of value. Nothing crazy, so it's putting a little value. Um, what else do we have? Rubber fruit, yeah, I, I'm not trading for rubber fruit, but it is Luffy's fruit, so I can't disrespect it. And I think that's, oh, uh, I'll put dark at the top of little ad. Oh, and flame. Forget about flame. But I think that's it for little ads. Alright, now we got the shadow fruit. The shadow fruit is pretty good, and it has pretty good value. I'd have to put it in front of spirit. Honestly, I've seen people trade shadow with more than spirit spirit is just not in the market at all now we got the quake fruit i'm gonna skip rumble for now because i want to talk about that later but a quake fruit is pretty good it has really good grinding potential i know it's not the best for pvp but it is worth a, a, a pretty penny i won't lie it's definitely better than what's below it so all right i'm not going in any particular order at all uh, let's do the barrier fruit yeah this beautiful fruit um personally i put it right here but I, I know someone out there would wants the barrier fruit. I don't know who that is, but someone's out there. All right, since we're talking about the barrier fruit, let me talk about the diamond fruit. Um, yeah, it doesn't have much value. Honestly, I'd put it right in front of bomb. I uh, flame and darks definitely better than it, and people would are trading for it. But diamond, I haven't really seen people really trade for it, unless you're trading out of one of these below it. So. Next up, let's do the doe fruit. The doe fruit is definitely one of the better ones on the top. I'm going to have to put it right behind dragon. Um, I think it's two does for one dragon, so I have to put it right behind. But it has more value than control, shadow, spirit, and all these below. So, doe fruit is a solid one. Alright, let's talk about the love and spider fruit. I would group them together because they're just about the same value, I won't lie. Um, I'm going to put it in a decent value. But you can get pretty decent trades out of it if you combine the two or you have like two to get one of the ones above. Probably a sound fruit. Um, Phoenix, which we'll talk about later. But yeah, I love fruit and spider fruit. Pretty decent value. Definitely in the middle. So we're already talking about the Phoenix fruit. Let me go ahead and place it down where I think it's going to be. Definitely worth more than the spider and love fruit. I'm going to have to put it right behind spirit. I know I said spirit is probably the last of very good. But the Phoenix fruit is a really good fruit to trade up to from any of these right here to have potential to get a, a control fruit. You can get a spirit, shadow. I mean, don't get a spirit, but dough. So it's a pretty good fruit. Let's talk about a fruit that everyone hates to see as an ad. It's the gravity fruit. I like the gravity fruit will have a rework one day, so I'm not going to put it down at little ad because it's definitely not any of these like values. But um, in front of the quake. It's, I mean, it's supposedly worth a lot. People don't want it. That's the only issue. And yeah, that's really about it. That's all I can say about gravity. Now let's talk about fruit people do want. And that's going to be the portal and Buddha fruit. I'm going to put them together because they're worth about the same. Portal fruit over to Buddha, of course, because no, worth a little bit more. But I'm going to have to put them right here in front of spirit. 
really good fruits, um, good transportation, great for grinding the Buddha fruits. So yeah, top tier fruits for everything. Next I'm gonna do with the magma and light fruit together because I, I, I see them as the same value really. I have to put them four ads. They're really good, you know, magma fruit, highest base damage in the game. Um, what's the, the light fruit, fastest fruit in the game, really good for leveling up and grinding, but besides that, the value, I put it around 1 million, like these right here, just in the, right in the middle for ads. Alright, let's do the ghost fruit. We have plenty of ghost fruit. They're everywhere in the market, but I still put it in front of, um, just, I'm going to put it in the back of ads since there's so many ghost fruits from the last update. But it's not a bad fruit. It's a good fruit for just about anything. It's not like the gravity fruit where it just sucks. Or any of these down here. So well, right here, I ended with the Leo ads. fruit. I know you guys have been waiting for this. So we had the Leo fruit right here. I am recording this on the 2nd of January. So I am have to put it behind Dragon. Honestly, I don't know what it's been. I know we have a lot of updates with the Dragon rework. So the Dragon value went all the way up. But I, people, it's hard to even get a, just trading a Leo for Dragon. So it's slightly under Dragon's value. I wouldn't make a big margin. But let's yeah, go ahead and do the mammoth fruit. Um, I know it was in the beast bundle. We can get a pair of mammoth fruit. But out of the Kasune and T-Rex, mammoth fruit was the least wanted. So it's still a really good fruit. I'm going to put it. I mean, you know what? I'm going to fix something really quick. I'm just going to drag these two down to decent because I don't believe spirit is worth more than mammoth fruit so it's not that the spirit fruit is even bad at all like this is really good fruit to use for pvp I just don't understand why people don't want it let's go ahead and do the ice fruit um ice fruit is pretty simple it's a good fruit I'm just going to put it right in front of quake that's all only because the perm ice fruit people are in need for it let's go ahead and do the pain fruit the pain fruit is a pretty good fruit i mean all these fruits are really good depending on what build you have but i'm just going to do the values that's what we're doing today so i'm gonna have to put it definitely better in gravity i'm gonna put it right behind sound all right let's do it the blizzard fruit and venom fruit both really grinding oriented um blizzard fruit i'm gonna put it right in front of portal fruit also i'm gonna put the venom fruit right in front of blizzard Really good fruit, it has high value, so decent fruit. If you have it, make sure you get your value out of it. All right, let's go ahead and do the rumble fruit. Personally, I, I love the rumble fruit for trading. I know not everybody is trading for rumble fruit. I've seen a lot of people trade it rather than want the rumble fruit, so I am gonna put it right behind spirit fruit in front of Phoenix. Personally, I love this fruit. It's a great trading in my opinion, but other people don't see it the same way. All right, let's do the big hitters. So we got the T-Rex fruit. One, the newest fruit that came to Blocks Fruit in the Christmas update, definitely up there. I am gonna put it right behind Dragon. Honestly, I've seen people trade a Kitsune for a T-Rex fruit. It doesn't happen as often, but since you know it's brand new fruit, everyone wants it, it has high value, not too many in stock in people's inventories, so I'm gonna put it right here for now. Last but definitely not least is the Kitsune fruit. Uh the Kitsune fruit, yeah, the most valuable fruit out there. Like, not even a question about it. Um, definitely worth more than all of these. A single Kitsune you can get any perm from uh, Portal Buddha down, in my opinion, you can get easily without any hassle. Anything above Portal Buddha, you probably have to trade two Kitsunes for. And then you can trade your perm Kitsune for three to four Kitsunes, depending on how lucky you are. So definitely up top. Do not sleep on Kitsunes. And yeah, trade them for perms. But that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know if you guys want more videos like this. I'm going to be giving away spirit fruit because I kind of do feel bad talking down on it a lot when it's a really good PvP and grinding fruit. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Three. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. And then I'll announce the winner on Friday. All right. See y'all.